I have to correct the behavior, but I also have to make the bit a nice place to land. That's a friendly place that I come in goodwill. And even if he's had an experience that like the, the, the rain has been good boy, like the rain has been strong. Uh, you know, and people have been like holding on for dear life or whatever. This isn't the case anymore. So everyone can change. Good boy. Now I see the nice shelving of his neck muscle. Good. Tongue is in. And I want to feel like, could I push the bits? Could I stretch you down even? Could I push the bits in front of your tongue? Because again, when we talk about a tongue problem, it's a throughness problem. It's a neck problem. By neck, I mean back. It's a whole ligamental pulley system. Good boy. And then again, lots of rewards. I'm just going to go one more time, but oh, now it's out. So put my, yeah, good boy. You're right? And you got to be so quick on that release. Yeah, good boy. No, yeah. And like right now, it used to just like hang out like legit, just like that, and just hang there and like flop around. So right now, is he a little too like chewy on the bit right now? Yes. But if he's chewing on the bit, he's not like dead mouth, right? So there's like progress there. So it's something different, you know? I want him to feel like he can be, right, Sipon, good boy. I want him to feel like we can have a conversation because what this horse likes to do is just like, just like barge through and like grab a hold of that right rein and just like, go straight fast, you know, like not like bolting or anything, but like even at the walk, he kind of takes, <laughs> like he's kind of just like, I'm leaving, you know? And so when I feel that too, I don't want to ever chuck him in the face. When I feel that horse run through me, I'm going to close my knee and like, I'm going to, I'm going to sit in and then give. That's how I, like, I don't want to like, Meh, you know, because again, like he's got to feel that the bit is a friendly place. I'm going to do one more trot to the right here. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. And again, I want to make sure that I'm not too strong in the curb. Good boy. But he's nicely chewing and he's nicely listening and everything's nice and soft. And again, the bit hangs in his mouth. And there he's a little bit like not kind of cross locking his jaw a little bit. Good boy. Good boy. Right, seat on right, seat on right. Give the right rein. Teach him about, you know, again, that whole idea of like if the horse is strong on the right rein, everybody wants to like pull and like supple the right rein. And like the problem with the strong rein is that they're not on the opposite rein. And so it's really important to give the strong rein away and say, I am not your fifth leg. Uh, you got to get onto my left rein. Why do you not want to go to my left rein? Oh, because your right hind leg doesn't want to have a job? Okay, well that makes you like 98% of all your friends under the sun because you're a horse. Okay, then we get the right hind leg, good boy. So I hope you guys found that helpful. I love this stuff. <laughs> it's not the first horse in my stable who has come with a tongue hanging out of his mouth. Um, and I've fixed those, I think there's been uh, three, three or four. And uh, those all got fine. Actually, one's uh, competing really successfully right now, so I'm not going to tell you who it is. <laughs> Keep it a secret. Um, so I know we can fix it, and I want you guys to know you can fix it too. So I hope you guys found that helpful. I hope you guys love Dom Perignon as much as uh, we do, and of course, Catherine loves him and misses him very much. But um, yeah, thank you guys so much for joining, and make it a great night. Yeah.